This is Trevor with Pelican Water Systems. Today, I want to take you through the installation of your PC600 or PC1000 whole house water filter. Before we get started, I'd like to take you through the parts included with the system. Included are one sediment filter housing with cover, one 5 micron polyspun sediment filter, mounting bracket with hardware, spanner wrench, bypass valve, one inch MPT fittings, hose bib assembly, bottle of wax, instruction manual, product registration form, and one logo decal. For today's install, we'll be using the installation kit available through Pelican Water. Included in the kit are two 24-inch clack to John Guest flexible stainless pipes, three one-inch MPT to stem fittings, one roll of Teflon tape, one John Guest to one-inch MPT quick connect fitting, and the installation instructions. The first step in the installation process is going to be filling the whole house water filter and allowing the internal carbon media to soak for a minimum of 48 hours. To do so, we need to first attach the hose bib assembly to the inlet side of the filter head. Next, we need to attach the garden hose to the hose bib assembly. Now, we can turn on the garden hose and allow the tank to fill. Once water starts to flow out of the outlet side, we can turn the hose off, disconnect the hose, and allow the tank to soak for the 48 hours. After allowing the tank to soak for 48 hours, we can reconnect the garden hose turn on the hose spigot a quarter of a turn and simply allow water to trickle through for 30 minutes. The flush is extremely important as with any new carbon media there's going to be fine particulate that we need to expel. We call this carbon dust. The flush will expel the majority of the carbon dust prior to installation. After allowing the water to flush through for 30 minutes, we can turn the hose spigot off, disconnect the hose and hose bib assembly from the inlet side, and connect it to the outlet side. Now we're ready to do our back flush. We want to slowly, fully open the hose spigot and run water backwards through the tank for three minutes. This will back flush and reset the carbon pushing it back down to the bottom of the tank. After three minutes, we can turn the hose spigot off and disconnect the garden hose as well as the hose bib assembly. Now, we're ready to move the tank to the installation site. The tank can be leaned over to allow the water to expel to make it easier to move. Next, we're ready to assemble the sediment filter. We want to make sure we orientate the inlet and outlet notated on the head correctly. Our setup, the water flows from left to right. First, we need to grab our hardware and remove the four washers as well as the bolt head screws. A 
I'll hand start the bolts and finish tightening them with a half inch ratchet. Next, we're going to install our inlet and outlet fittings. And again, these fittings are included in the installation kit. We'll start by wrapping each threaded end five or six times with Teflon tape. Once wrapped, we'll just hand start them. The stem fitting will be installed on the outlet side of the sediment filter and the John Guest will go in the inlet side. Now I'll finish tightening the fittings with an adjustable wrench. We'll be installing the system today on a simulated loop. A loop is just an exposed area of your main water supply pipe before it branches off to the rest of your fixtures inside of your home. It is typically found in your garage and is an ideal place to install any type of filtration or softening system. On our installation, you can see that the water will flow from left to right. Make sure that you understand the proper flow pattern for your installation. Next, I'm ready to mount the sediment filter cover and bracket to the wall. I'll level the bracket using a small torpedo level. Now I'm ready to cut into the loop, but first I'll turn the main water supply off and depressurize the system by opening up the nearest faucet. With my loop cut, I'm now going to start to plumb in a three valve bypass. Although not necessary for the installation today, it is a nice feature uh, to have during those maintenance times, as you'll still have continued water flow to the home while maintaining your system. And this is what the completed three valve bypass will look like. From this point, we'll plumb in and out of our water system. First, we need to plumb into the inlet of the sediment filter. The John Guest fittings included with the installation kit will adapt to copper, PEX, and CPVC. All you need to do is fully insert the pipe to the fitting to make a permanent connection. Next, I'm going to install the bypass valve to the tank head. All I need to do is pop it into place and tighten both of the quick connect nuts. With the tank now in place, I'm ready to make my plumbing connections using the installation kit. 
I'll start by inserting the clack fitting to the inlet side of the bypass valve. I just snap it in and tighten the quick connect nut. Next, I'm just bending and manipulating the 24 inch flex pipe for my situation. Once I'm ready, I will literally slide the John Guest end of the flex pipe over the stem fitting, which is installed in the outlet side of the sediment filter, fully insert to make a permanent connection. Next, we'll install the second stainless steel flex pipe. We'll start with the clack end inserted into the outlet side of the bypass valve and tighten the quick connect nut. Now I'm just bending and manipulating the outlet flex pipe to accommodate the rigid plumbing that we'll finish next. As you can see, I simply bent it underneath to give me a clear avenue to finalize the rigid plumbing. Now we're ready to finish our rigid plumbing from the inlet of the home to the outlet of our whole house water filter. Our last connection is going to be from the CPVC to the John Guest fitting. Again, all we have to do is fully insert to make a permanent connection. With all of our plumbing connections now made, we're ready to install the 5 micron sediment filter to the blue filter housing. There is no up or down orientation. Next. We'll attach it to the filter cover. We want to tighten counterclockwise. We'll hand tighten, followed by the spanner wrench, making sure not to over tighten the housing. Before turning the main water supply back on, we want to put the whole house water filter into bypass. This will prevent any trapped air that's in the plumbing from having to go through the filter disrupting the carbon bed. Before we turn on the main water supply, I'd like to take a moment to explain to you how shutoff valves and a three valve bypass operate and function. Shutoff valves are in the off position when the handle is perpendicular to the pipe. They are on when they are in line or parallel with the pipe. With the shutoff valves in this position, the system would be in service. Water will flow up the left through the system and down the right. It is unable to flow in and bypass due to the center shutoff valve position. If each of the shutoff valves are rotated, that will put your filtration system into bypass. This will prevent water from entering the filtration system, yet simply bypassing it to the home. Now, with all of the shutoff valves back in the service position, we're ready to slowly turn on the main water supply. I recommend opening the nearest faucet to allow any trapped air to expel. Once the water runs smoothly, we're ready to put our whole house water filter into service. All we need to do is slowly rotate each of the red arrows into the service position. With the system now fully installed, 
we need to remove the protective blue film from the stainless steel jacket. Lastly, we're ready to install our Pelican logo decal. Our system is now fully installed and ready for use. It's important to keep in mind that for the first 72 hours, we'll need to maintain low flow applications. Examples of low flow applications are a shower, a toilet, or a traditional faucet. We will not be able to use high flow applications like dishwashers, washing machines, or bathtubs. If you need to use these high flow applications during the first 72 hours, you can simply rotate the two red arrows on top of the whole house water filter into the off position until you're finished. Once finished, rotate the red arrows back into the service position. If you have any questions on installing your whole house water filter, please feel free to give us a call at 877-842-1635.